changes are coming to a system designed to protect Ontario's children. City News has obtained a copy of an internal memo sent from the Ministry of Education to child care employees, highlighting some changes coming to child care programs, including the reversal of a key protection for daycares. It's called the for-profit maximum threshold, and its removal could mean the expansion of big box corporate daycares in Ontario. In a neighborhood saturated with families, Brooke Richardson, a mother of four, has no delusions about the shortage of child care centers in the beaches. But still, she wants quality over quantity. Parents, including myself, don't want child care spaces that aren't going to, you know, really provide rich learning and um, experiences for their children. She's concerned that the Ford government has now chosen to lift the lid on big box child care. City News has obtained an internal memo sent from the Ministry of Education to child care employees that outlines several changes to child care programs, including the removal of the for-profit maximum threshold, a cap that limits how much funding the government can provide to for-profit daycares. I think it's a waste of taxpayers' dollars. Um, if a certain portion of, of our public funding is going into shareholders' pockets, into you know, making a profit for, for business owners, I think that's the wrong use of public education dollars. This is the Ministry of Education's money, and we think it should be going to children. The cap was initially put into place two years ago to protect Ontario from big box daycare takeovers. While the government argues the reversal will incentivize more daycares to open in this province amid a shortage, advocates say the goal should be to expand not-for-profit childcare centres and point to decades of research that show they provide higher quality care to children. For-profit childcare tend to um, have sort of cut back on um, staff wages um, and, and working conditions are, are poorer there. And what you see then is you see higher staff turnover, um, less staff, staff satisfaction in for profits. And all of that boils down to a difference uh, in the type of care provided for kids. Children and families deserve, and I know the word quality is thrown around, but really quality care experiences. And you get that through things like paying your staff well, having well trained staff. These are the key indicators of quality. To make a profit in childcare, that's where you have to cut corners. News in a statement, this threshold, the province tells City News in a statement, this threshold has created a barrier to child care expansion in some communities that rely on for-profit care to meet increasing demand. It has also created inequitable access to child care fee subsidies for families living in communities where there is no non-profit care available. This change gives parents and communities more choice and flexibility to best meet their needs. The memo also says that these changes were made in response to feedback from members, but the Ontario Coalition for Better Child Care says they're not aware of any of their members making a request to change this specific policy.